What's up guys, Seattle Gamer here, back with our first look video, the series where I play a video game for the very first time for your visual enjoyment. Today we're playing Isbara, the first journey, which is a kind of side scroller shooting them up platformer game by Leaker Studio. It's L-E-I-K-I-R Studio. I probably pronounced that horribly, but anyways, let's see what we got here in the options menu and go ahead and click on the annotation if you want to skip right to the gameplay. As always, we have screen resolution here. We also have full screen on and off. And we have texture qualities in the simple, good, beautiful, and fantastic variety. I prefer to see actual things that you can turn on and off like FXAA, MXAA, all of that instead of just fantastic, beautiful, because I'm not quite sure what that means. But nevertheless, it's still good to see a texture quality here. And then there's also brightness uh, slider here as well. Let's take a look at sound. We have music sound and sound effects as well. Inputs, so it looks like we can fully customize all of these ADS space and left shift. All right, swap left and route right, blah, 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 right mouse buttons. That's interesting. All right, and then also default. And languages, looks like you have English and French. So that's it for the, for the options menu here. Let's get right into the game. Oh, looks like we can track our progression and all sorts of good stuff here. We'll have to take a look at that later once we've actually done something. This is a boss rush game, by the way. So we're gonna start off by fighting God, apparently. You can change the difficulty in this level. We'll do normal, I guess, I, I don't know. Display timer, sure, we'll start the battle. All right, let's see what this is all about. Collision circle, the energy circle behind Iria represents her vulnerability zone. Something about bullets as well. Our world is not the only existing universe. This guy has a massive headache. There exists an imaginary world to which all human spirits are connected. Human imagination is constantly creating life in this universe, making creatures and their environments limitless. Is that it? Oh. This effervescence, always grows universe, oh, always growing universe, is ruled by one god and his ginger girlfriend here. As the master of all lives and all the laws that rule them, he is responsible for peace and makes sure that this world does not sink into chaos. His only daughter was born 15 years ago. She's got a pretty bomb ass haircut there. And now it is time for her to start helping her father. Are you ready to obtain your powers? Yes, father. They sound the same because they're related and I'm lazy. All right, do not let me down. Here we go. Your father gave you some of his powers. Let's train. All right. Some Jedi mind trick training here, apparently with these floating orbs. Oh, you're fighting your father. Gotcha. That's why you start off fighting God. Man, you're a lot smaller than him. All right. So it looks like we can platform here. Get out. Okay, so we can go down. Catch this power ball. It will give you a new ability. All right. Oh, I have to, I have to follow it? Okay, here we go. This is just like, hey, are you good at platforming? Well, if you're shite, then too bad for you. All right, here we go. Dash. Perfect. Now you control space, use dash something or other. Okay. Don't forget that the dash only starts when you release the button. All right, that's why I did it wrong there. This allows you to target precisely. Bam. All right, cool. So we have to use it to get up here apparently. We have to dash up there. Oh, we have to dash into that. Oh, I gotcha. Good thing I'm shit at this game. Oh, I wish there was a double jump. I guess that's why there's a dash. Meet me up there. All right. Oh, we have to double dash. Gotcha. Try to leave this maze. All right. If I have to guess, I have to dash everywhere. What do you guys think? Oh, don't touch those. They're made of pure death. Here we go. This is very, very difficult. And I'm also very, very bad. Let's try this. Oh, I almost made it. 
Okay. Almost, come on. This is gonna be a 20 minute video of me just trying to get up to this platform. How's that sound, guys? I can go underneath the platform, right? Can I touch that? No, it kills me. All right. That was a thing. I don't know what that thing was, but it was a thing. Okay, you can do this. Come on, Otter, you got this. The problem is I'm getting a little bit of lag between the first one and the second one. I can't do it right away. And also I'm not timing my jump apparently perfectly. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna cut to when I'm up there and I'll see you guys in one second. All right, guys, I am up. Although this jump here does not look promising. There we go. Okay, we got it. We got this. There we go. Those ones were much better. Ow, that hurt a lot. It hurt me in my bones area. There we go. And I made it out. Dash into father. What you got for me? Okay, let's be serious now. Dodge my direct attacks. That was not dodging, apparently. Be careful, it hurts. Why are you trying to hurt me, father? All right, let's try this again. I made it to you. Do I get a prize or a cookie? Now dodge my indirect attacks. This was apparently a difficult thing. Okay, here we go. Activate the rail, oh, I get a rail gun? To destroy your opponent's shield. All right, let's do it. Can we do this? Use your dash to start them up, then keep close to the area of effect to charge them. Okay. Apparently I did a thing. Well done! You still have two of them to activate. activate. There we go. So this game says we don't trust you enough to let you actually aim stuff. We're gonna aim it for you apparently. Here we go. Good, when he is in danger, your enemy casts a spell and unleashes his fury. So I'm only attacking guys apparently. And this is a sexist game. No, I'm just kidding. Totally kidding. Don't, don't hurt me. You must survive and stay in the central circle to break his spell. This will give you a chance to strike. All right, the more I stay in the circle, the faster I break the spell. Where am I? I'm over here, okay. All right. I'm breaking a spell now. The spell is breaking. Oh, do you see that sweet dodge move there? I have a feeling this is gonna be more of a dodging game than an attacking game. What do you guys think? It's hard to tell though, but oh, those will be easy to dodge. Oh, I can't boost through those. Okay, that's good to know. I know that now. These are, this is now a thing that I know. You did it! Now strike your enemy with your dash. If you're too slow, your auto aim will shoot for you. But the power released by a close quarter strike could help you regain some health. In any case, your enemy is hurt. Is that their bar then, I guess? It's time to strike back. I'm coming for you, father. Get ready, now we fight for real. For realsies, for all the marbles. Dash! Bish, bash, bosh. Okay, so now I have to do this again. Stay here in the circle. Okay, we're gonna use this real gun. There we go. One more over here. I think I'm getting the hang of this, guys. What do you think? go and that's three now do I have to do that circle thing yes I do okay not to do the circle thing we got this oh those are gigantic and it hurts a lot okay I'm getting the hang of this guys it's actually really fun once you figure it out that one hurt probably a little bit less than the gigantorbs I like that word gigantorb I'm, I'm patenting that trademarking it, whatever. That is gonna hurt a lot. 
Stay in the circle. There we go. Oh, the circle slowly fills up. Okay, that makes more sense. You, you see the circle inside filling up? That one completely obliterated me. I have one continue. Okay. We're almost, we're almost done though. There we go. Now it's time to strike. I said strike. Okay. That was a thing. We won. We beat our dad to death, apparently. Apparently that's a good thing. Here we go. And we got scores. And a pretty sweet little picture up here in the, in the top left. So, all right, let's head up. This has just been, you completed the battle in full mode. This has just been the tutorial, apparently. A new boss awaits you in the gallery. Here we go. Both DAS gauges are constantly loading. That's good to know. I hate when you have to wait for them all to load separately. Not bad, really. That was very encouraging, thank you. I did not think it would be so cool. I actually really like her hair, that's pretty cool. So, quick story about me, I actually had a front forelock like this that was red when I was in high school because I was a drummer, and I would spike up this front bit here and do a mohawk, and the front, the first spike would be red. It will give you an opportunity to use your powers right now. That has nothing to do with the game, by the way, other than her hair. The leader of night creatures is attacking other designers. As is as it is your first battle, I'm going to help you. All right, next level. We're going to do one more. There we go. Apparently the hardness is just life, I guess. She, those are pretty cool boots. Energy boots. These crystal supply boots allow her to do dashes and stuff. As a brutal fight goes on. Stop. Cannot you just make peace once in a while? I'm trying to sleep. With these brutes, Abaddon, what do you want me to say, oh god? You know I cannot make them stop fighting. I don't like your beard. Are you not supposed to be their leader? It, it makes me think you're the evil guy. Young girl, you should not speak so much. Yep, he's the evil guy. Iria, execute the sentence. Very well. I bet I'm batting Beardo. Beardo the weirdo here. I'm probably gonna do this and then check back to see how well we did and then that'll probably be the end of this episode. Yep, we're we're battling Dracula, or Beardacula, apparently. So, I, that's a, it's a really cool background that they've got here, actually. I mean, look at that, that's very detailed and very nice. As far, actually, the graphics themselves are, are very nice, I have to say. I have to find the other railgun. There's one here. There we go. We dash to activate it. We have to stay in there. Oh, that hurt a little bit. And there's one over here. That should do it. All right, now we have to do the circle thing. So this is what I meant about this, this game. Oh my God, those are gigantic. This game is very Boss Rush-esque. Oh, if I'm not talking, it's because I'm trying to concentrate on not getting obliterated by gigantic orbs of doom. Ah, oh, we're like only halfway there too. There we go. And apparently what they said is the key to winning this game is to memorize the strategy for each boss. And I actually really like this. It reminds me of really old games where, you know, they didn't have a lot of memory and stuff on the cartridges. Oh, we mastered a spell, apparently. And so they had shorter levels, but a lot more difficult, and you had to memorize exactly what to do. This reminds me of the old games, like on the NES and stuff, which is a good thing, definitely. I don't know if that's what they're going for, but that's the vibe I get from it, so. We'll go for this one next, because that one was being shot at, shot upon. Oop. He has a dash of his own as well. Oh, that hurt a lot. I only have one more heart left. There we go, that should do it. Our, our health is apparently the top left, so. All right, this guy's is dashing at us and then also releasing smaller orbs and waves of orbs. And the larger orb is focused on us and the smaller orbs are just uh, kind 
kind of going away from him. Now he's gonna dash at us again. There we go. I think I got this. Oh, no, he's changing it up. He's going back to his original plan that didn't work. That worked that time though. Yes, I will continue, thank you. All right, that did work, however. There we go. And he's dashing at the same time. Okay, now he's going back to his original one. Here we go. So I think we can kind of go like this. Yep, and dash. Goodbye. Those runes in the corners reminded me of something, but I can't think of what it is. I think it was that Xander game I did a while ago, Xander's Tale. All right, so we, we did a thing and we beat a guy. Honestly, I think this has a lot of potential, especially if you like the older games. Like I said, they're all boss rushy and stuff. So let's uh, let's go here next. I also really like the art style on it, although the character sprites are a little bit puppety, but I can't fault them for that. So that was quick. That's what she said. Learn your lesson, Mainos. Mainos. This world must stay in peace. They need a new leader. Ah, uh, you're gonna say that to their old leader there? He's standing right in front of you. Roar! Watch out! I'm gonna go to level selection, so. But, I don't know, I had a lot of fun with this. I'm gonna keep playing and see exactly what this has. I'm gonna look at our progression here really quick though. Sorry guys, hitting level selection apparently crashed my recording program, but here we are anyways. So, as you can see, we're about 3% through. We're ranking up to a rank of 126, and we have some points here. These look like levels here on the bottom. There's at least six, and probably more if you look, because there's arrows, but I don't know. It seems like there's a lot to this game, and they're releasing on Steam very soon, apparently. If you want to check it out, I'll leave everything you need down below. If this looks like your type of game, definitely check it out, especially if you like the older games, like the NES-style games, or you know, like the Boss Rush-type games. Definitely a lot more dodging than attacking, which is kind of different. I don't really, I can't think of a game that this reminds me of other than select NES and Sega Genesis type games. But this has been Isbarar, the first journey. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong actually, but no matter, I'll leave everything you need down below if you want to check it out. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.